If you're going to make any type of change, you have to sit down with God and let God download things within you. You just have to be willing to make the sacrifices now to become the person that you want to become later, period. What is up, y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Alimsi High, and we are back here with me in the Holy Spirit. Okay, period. Y'all already know how we get down. This is a Jesus loving channel. Okay yeah but <laughs> if you are new here my name is alimsi hi welcome and if you are not new here hey girl if you you new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button i'm gonna be 100 honest like the people love it over here we let we love it over here and i want to try my best to create a community of women that are really just on the same journey as me and very much my journey is i am on a journey to build my life up from scratch just to give y'all a little background of me i am building my life up from scratch literally god stripped every single thing away from me a couple of years ago and ever since then i have been building my life up and one of the more meaningful things that i've learned in the past couple of months is how to actually make meaningful change and what it actually takes and so i felt like Hmm. The girls are on YouTube talking about how to exit your lazy girl era. They're talking about how to make change, but nobody's really talking about how to make meaningful change and what that looks like with God. So y'all already know I'm here to give y'all the tea. First of all, let's get into it. Let's pause for a, for a second. Let's get into the tea. Y'all like, okay, I tried a little bit of different background. We got the cream on. It's giving clean girl aesthetic. That was never my aesthetic, but today is giving clean girl aesthetic because we're very much trying to give business women. We're very much trying to give classes in session. The girls, we making, we making change. Okay, period. So there are three things that I'm going to be giving you. Well, really four, but the first thing is really just, just goes without saying. We're going to give you three things that you can do literally right now to start this meaningful change in your life that you really want. Like for my girls that are sick and tired of being sick and tired, this video is for you. So let's get into it. The very first thing that you need to do is consult with God. I'm going to be 100 percent honest. Most of the change that has happened in, to me and happened for me in my life is change that I did not see coming, that I was not fully aware of, that God has to put me in front of me and put me in front of the mirror to show me, hey, you're a self-sabotager. Hey, you're a people pleaser. Hey, you have an issue with pride. And all of those things came from situations where it almost was too late. It, like I had to learn it the hard way. And I because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, I had to pray to God, like, listen, God, like change whatever is inside of me. I need you to show it blatantly to me. I need you to show me me. And once he starts to show you who you really are and the things that you really need to change, it's you can either decide, OK, I'm going to run away from what he just showed me or I'm going to actually move towards this change. And the er the era that I'm in in my life right now is definitely like I'm not running from anything anymore because at this point I need a change in my life. So number one, before we do anything, we're consulting with God. Number two. You have to understand that any type of lasting change, and I'm talking about something that you want to last for a long time, is going to take time. And for me personally, I would say like I God has had to tell me multiple times throughout the last couple of years to slow down. And it's like, OK, yeah, I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. But in my mind, I'm, I'm still wanting things quick because let's be completely honest. When we're in the world, when, the, when we're looking at what the world reflects, the world definitely reflects fast paced everything. I need fast money. I need fast this. I need fast that. I need fast change. I need to change overnight. I need to lose weight in 30 days. I need to do this. I need to do that. But to really make the change that lasts this has to become a lifestyle you have to actually decide you want to change you want to become a whole different person and for me that really started like a month two months ago where i was like okay i got some things i got to deal with and either i can continue to look at these things and shy away from them or i can face them head forward and i'm reminded so many times in the bible and especially in my recent bible studies is that god is always with you one he's with you he's with you in the valley of shadow of death when it feels like you're literally overwhelmed um he's with you 
every step of the way and there's so many times that the the bible says fear not for i am with you or i will i will not fear because you should not fear yes it is scary to see yourself like that to see like oh wait i do i i may be the issue but i promise if you press for it that's when you're going to start to make this lasting change y'all stay with me we're on number one number two you need to assess your distractions and cut them out yes bookie if that man is a distraction cut them out is it if that friend is a distraction cut them out if you going out still is a distraction cut it out if your phone is a distraction cut it down if something or your environment is causing you to be distracted cut it out the reason why is that that is the number one tactic of the enemy he can't have our purpose so what he gonna do is try to get our attention and y'all already know it's so many things grabbing for our attention there's social media there's friends there's family with different opinions but one opinion it's only one opinion and one voice that truly matters one voice that truly matters and that one voice is God's and so if we're not if we're not tuned in to the small still voice of god then a lot of the other things are going to become your god because those things are a lot louder than what god is and i'm telling y'all i am telling y'all this from experience especially like being on social media and having a goal of being a successful influencer and making money off of it it's easy to get caught up in that scroll caught up in what you don't have what you do have the things you need to change you start to feel very overwhelmed very fast and so one of the things that i have done everything i'm telling y'all to do i'm either doing right now or i have done but i had to cut it out i had to cut all the noise which brings me to number three which is silence the noise you have to silence the noise and sometimes our fear of missing out honestly will get us caught up in staying in situations or staying in environments that we have no business being in for instance for me silencing the noise was very much i'm i'm going off social media I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to see what y'all got going on. I don't want to be on TikTok. I don't want to, I don't want to be on anything that is influencing how I'm thinking about my relationship with God, how I'm going about certain things. I don't want anything to be influencing me right now except for the the voice of the Lord. That is it. And in order to hear the voice of the Lord, one, you have to be able to sit still and be able to rest in him to be able to hear what he's saying to you. You can't, if you got this person in your ear, social media in your ear, your own negative thoughts in your mind, how are you gonna be able to discern God's voice from every other voice that's going on, especially if those voices or those things are louder than the Lord's, okay? So just to recap, it's a real quick, real short video, but I just wanted to give my girls something to at least start with. And I want y'all to know that I'm taking y'all on this journey of change with me. I don't know if I'm gonna make it a series or this is what my channel is gonna be about for the for the moment. But yes, we are gonna still have vlogs. Yes, we are gonna be having these sit down talks and we're gonna communicate with each other so y'all definitely if y'all have anything to add to this list make sure you comment it down below but just to do a little recap one we got to consult with god praise the god and ask him what is it god that i need to change what are some things that you see inside of me that are not of you and are not not serving me as a person or the purpose that you have set before me two you need to understand that to make some type of change is going to take time and delayed gratification and understanding delayed gratification is very important because God, the things that God are, is telling you to do are going to take a little bit of time. It's just like you planting a seed, the flower is not, or the plant or the vegetable is not going to grow the next day, the next week. <clears throat> or the next week maybe the next the month and the two months but regardless is you have to go through a planting season and then you go through a harvest season and a lot of people i think forget that getting caught up in the world of uh, such a world of quickness that we forget like oh things still do take time so that's number 
two number one number two um number three would be to assess your distractions and cut them out immediately assess your distractions and cut them out immediately period and number three is silence the noise silence everything that is not of you and of not serving you not um in alignment with your purpose and really sit down with god like it's you you need to sit down with god if you're gonna make any type of change you have to sit down with god and let god download things within you so if that means you're gonna have to miss out on certain things in life then that's what you're gonna have to do you just have to be willing to make the sacrifices now to become the person that you want to become later period that 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 that's it that's it and so i hope this video um helped you guys this is literally only the beginning of the change but i promise you if you sit down with god you consult with god and you do all the things that i'm telling you you're going to make that lesson change is it going to be uncomfortable yes is it going to be different yes is it going to take you yielding to the holy spirit absolutely but i for 100 percent facts know that this is a foolproof way to get to where God created you to be, which is in alignment with your purpose and you becoming your best self. OK, and on that note, I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I will see my growth later. Peace.